support and guidance that I have received from the outgoing chairperson of the Commerce Authority, His Excellency Hakainde Hichlema, his government and the people of Zambia. The Republic of Zambia has been at the helm of Comesa during the past 16 months. Your Excellency, during your tenure, Comesa attained several economic integration milestones. For instance, significant progress has been made in facilitating intra-regional trade through various interventions, including customs border management, simplifying clearance procedures, digitalization of trade instruments. In addition, the regional food balance sheet initiative has been expanded, as well as enhancing target value addition and competitiveness of local products. It is also a period during which the access to clean energy program for Eastern and Southern Africa, targeting 100 million beneficiaries, including women, was launched in June 2024. Great appreciation goes to the World Bank for the support to this timely program that aims to fill the gap of access to energy for millions of women and men in the region. Further, the last 16 months have been a period during which efforts have been enhanced to guard against region, the region against epidemics and disease across border, through cross-border coordination of member states on prevention, local production of pharmaceutical products, timely response to disease outbreaks using a one health approach which focuses on people, animals, and plants. In addition, it has been a period of continuous growth of commercial institutions and promotion of investments and access to markets, including for women and SMEs. To the outgoing chairperson of Commercial Authority, I would like to say thank you for your visionary leadership. Excellencies, heads of state of government, honorable ministers, ladies and gentlemen, we convene at a pivotal moment in the Commercial history when we are celebrating 30 years of Commercial existence. The journey from 1994 has been filled with great achievements and challenges, as well as lessons and opportunities that we must seize for the future. Allow me to highlight some of Comesa achievements over the years. On economic integration, trade, we have established the Comesa Free Trade Area. Through various programs, FTA has increased intra-regional trade by reduction of trade barriers and improvement of the business environment establishment of one-stop border posts and enhancement of support to small-scale border trade. Trade volumes increased from 1.9 billion US dollars to 14.1 US dollars between 1997 and 2023. On infrastructure development, we promoted investment in transport, energy, telecommunications to facilitate economic activities and connectivity. The recently launched Ascent program to enhance access to clean energy for 100 million people will contribute to SME's productivity, protection of the environment, health of women and children, and enhance education among young women and men through connection of schools and health facilities. Further, energy will facilitate trade and investment in the region. On investment and industrialization, the region has seen a boost and significant growth in manufacturing capacities due to efforts in investments and in the industrialization development to add value to pro primary products like leather sector, agro-processing, and textiles. On gender and social affairs, Comesa has established institutional structures and policy frameworks and platforms to advance gender equality, women and youth empowerment, social development, more than 600,000 women and youth are supported with business-related resources, networking opportunity, and capacity building and market exposure. Despite these achievements, the region has been faced with challenges, including economic disparities, external shocks, climate change, disease outbreaks, youth unemployment, and political instability. To survive, Comesa has remained resilient and adaptable in the face of global economic challenges and crisis. The Excellencies, distinguished de delegates, as one of the eight regional economic communities of the African Union, Comesa continues to play a leading role in supporting continental in integration efforts 
through its various initiatives and institutions. For instance, the entry into force of the Comesa EAC SADAC tripartite free trade area in July 2024 is no mean achievement. This not only reduces challenges associated with multi membership to various regional economic communities, but also sets a strong foundation for developing regional value chains and enhancing connectivity within the region. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, as I conclude, I wish to reiterate that Comesa's strength lies in its foundation aspirations of collective of unity of purpose, collective vision for economic integration, cooperation, and sustainable development amongst its member states. Established in 1994, Comesa aimed to address various economic and social challenges while fostering a prosperous and integrated regional communities. Comesa's founding aspirations still remain. By standing together, we can overcome the challenges and external threats we face and realize the full potential of our region. I'm convinced that with our collective commitment, determination, and wisdom, this summit will take a major step forward in Comesa's journey towards prosperity. I thank you all for your dedication and commitment, and I look forward to a fruitful and inspiring th summit. I thank you. I thank you, Madam SG, for your good statement, and I congratulate you for your commitment and for your wonderful work you are doing since your appointment in the Commissar.